Angels, thanks for showing up to watch this video for couples. Ooh, you see that little angel orb flying by? I hope you saw it. That means this one's important. Um, so anyway, this video is for anyone in a relationship or, you know, if you're in an on-again, off-again relationship, you'll probably want to watch this one and the singles one, but it's for anyone Virgo sun, moon, or rising. Pay particular attention to your moon sign because we make our love decisions based on our emotions and our emotions um, come from our moon sign. Our moon sign reflects um, who we are as an emotional individual, okay? Like our feelings. So um, for me, that always resonates the best. You go ahead and watch what you want. You could also be watching this if you're interested in a Virgo, um, if your partner's a Virgo, maybe you're cheating on your partner and your new fling is a Virgo and you're trying to make a decision. Whatever, we're just gonna get started. So this is for the month of October. Now, the thing is, is that um, within the month of October, these are coming out a little bit early. So if it doesn't make sense to you now, come back and watch it a few weeks from now. Um, because oftentimes people will comment in the videos below saying, you know, when I first watched this, parts of it resonated, parts of it didn't make any sense. And then I came back to it and I was like, holy shit, this is exactly my situation. I'm so glad I came back because now I know how to manipulate and handle the situation for my highest good. Okay, so um, before I get started with the questions I was going to ask for you, this guy just jumped right out of the deck and it's saying that Virgos in particular, um, this month are having a very hard time trying to balance things. Um, so this could be finding time for your partner. This could just be um, like a work-life balance, right? This could be generosity between the two of you, like trying to, maybe you're in a relationship, but you're not married, you don't share money, um, trying to figure out who pays for what, you know, like you're just moving in together, that kind of a thing. Now, the blessing in this is that it's not necessarily affecting your emotions. Okay, oftentimes it does, but for you this month, um, not so much damaging the relationship, it's just more of a struggle. So something to keep in your mind. I do want to pull a card to see um, what you can do about this, and it just says, uh, put a lot of your focus into the home, into the work. Uh, you'll come back into balance, you'll be able to take a break, get a little grip on things, and then be able to pay more attention to that relationship, okay? Okay, so first question for the month of October in Virgos. What is the overall state of your relationship in this month? Um, so you're not feeling particularly confident, and the reason being is because you cannot pl apply a ton of enthusiasm, fun, excitement to this because of whatever is going on with your work, finance, routine, that sort of a thing, all of those earth energies, right? Like, it's not your biggest priority, although you wish it was, so you're kind of concerned that your relationship will be damaged by this. What can you do, though, to make that better aside from what we already talked about? Well, it says there's something here that you're not seeing. Okay, so, and it's like, you're not facing this because you don't want to, because it's difficult. You see her, how she's got her blindfold on so she can't see what's happening. There's all of this information around her and she's like, oh, I can't see it because my hands are tied up. This bitch doesn't have a lock on those chains at all. It's just like loosely wrapped around. She's like, help, help, it's too hard. I can't deal with it. That's not, that's not an excuse. Okay, so just try to face it. Try to see things as they really are. Maybe you're going to need to do a reading for yourself or get a personal reading from me or somebody else. Maybe um, ask a friend. It doesn't matter how you do it, but you've got to do it, all right? Um, because they're like, it's not healthy to stuff your emotions. You've got to release them, okay? And sometimes we don't want to face them because it's difficult. And, you know, maybe with the cards that we said here, you know, like all this work-life balance, we're trying to keep our emotions intact and uh, not freak out over things. Good. That's smart, right? Because freaking out over things kind of damages our relationships. But, but what they're saying is it's kind of an unreasonable fear, right? So you've just got to face it, deal with things, and move on. The sooner you move on from it, the more time and enthusiasm you have to apply to this relationship. Okay. So what do you need to understand or accept in the month of October concerning your relationship? Oh, I love it. Okay. So what it's saying is your relationship is actually a really successful relationship. It's the kind of relationship that other people look at and they're like, wow, I wish I had a relationship like that. No, is that always 100% true from the inside? No. But 
you know, other people see this as, okay, that's really good. Um, there's a lot of emotional balance here. And I think you're just trying to maintain it, hence not wanting to deal with certain things or see them as they are. Because what you're understanding here is that maybe the way that you wanted things to go in the relationship, what your original wish was, like things are still good, but the issue is that they didn't play out exactly the way that you wanted them to. Um, and so while it is still successful, it's like you had this idea in your mind of exactly how things should go and they didn't go that way, right? Like some of us have this idea of, you know, first we meet and it's a cute love story and then both of our parents approve of, you know, both of our families approve of this relationship and then we get married and then we have kids. Maybe you get pregnant on accident first, right? Things like that. Um, and they're like, so... So things are good, but maybe you're not able to check them off your list one by one in the order that you envisioned it, which is really hard for a Virgo because you're such perfectionist. You want things to look a certain way. Um, other people view it that way, but maybe inside you don't entirely feel like it's playing out the way that you would want it. Or maybe things aren't going at the speed that you had wanted. Um, so it's saying you can talk about these things. You can talk about what's important to you in regards to um, timelines, in regards to how you think things should look with your partner, and what is their reaction going to be? They're like, okay, well, you're in luck, because guess what? I can deal with that. <laughs> so um, now, of course, because I'm reading for many, many Virgos who would be in relationships with different signs, you might want to watch their sign and see kind of what their attitude is this month. But for the majority, I'm going to say it's like an 80-20. Most of them are going to be very receptive and just say, you know what, if that's important to you, if this is how you want things to go, how you want things to look, I'm going to try my best to do that for you and make that happen. Um, they might not even say it and you might not even believe it. But they will apply that action and you can kind of just sit back and wait for things to um, work out for you. Now, the trouble here is that some of you are feeling like you're not necessarily in um, a relationship with the person that you wanted to grow old with or retire with. And it's not because of who they are necessarily. Um, it's not because they're not fun or loving. It's more because you're like... I would like somebody who has their shit more together than you. I would have liked to be with somebody who's like very successful in their career, who puts money away and you just fucking blow everything. It's like that kind of an energy. So for those of you, it's like you're intentionally not necessarily showing them love. It's almost as though you're pushing them away from you because you don't want to be the one to say, hey, this isn't working for me, right? <laughs> so um, how's that going to end up for you in the month of October? They're like... Well, it's not going to work because they look up to you. They think you're a catch. So that's something to think about. Like if you're subconsciously pushing them away, maybe that's that thing with the blindfold where you have to come back to it and really get clear. Like, can I deal with this? Can I accept them as they are? Do I love them enough to do that? Or do I need to cut them loose? Right? That might be the hesitation. Um, for the rest of you, it's saying you just might be a little bit selfish right now. And sometimes that's okay. Uh, but like you're doing it maybe out of like this feeling of weakness or lack of control. And it's just kind of like this month maybe is one of those months where you really, really wanted to control things. Um, I mean, Virgos like to do that anyway, because we talked about their, their desire to have things perfect. Every, I think every sign wants things to be perfect, but, um, it's extra important for stability for Virgos. And what it's saying is, you know what, some of these things just take time, but it doesn't mean that drama has to ensue. Like, don't lose your patience. There's nothing that you have to decide right now that can manipulate or change the direction or the course or the speed of it. So if you can just try to kind of like let it go and go with the flow, that would be in your better interest for the month of October. Okay, so what is the overall lesson in love for the month of October for Virgos who are in relationships? Okay, here we go. Elevation. It says you're making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. Oh, so this would be a very good month. This is almost like a call to action to maybe start like a gratitude journal, to um, go out of your way, to tell your partner the things you love about them or that you love them at all. And the reason why this is important is because um, remember how I talked about some of you are maybe pushing the other person away, just kind of like testing them and, and seeing how that's going with the page of cups in reverse. If you do want to keep them around, that's going to be very important for you in the month of October, because I don't necessarily think that your partner is um, planning to leave you because you maybe you need a little space. You're worried about, you know, 
um, very earth sign kind of energies, routine, work, money. But, um, you know, if that progresses past October, it could become problematic. So that's just something to think about. Okay, so your overall guidance in regards to the relationship for this month, like what can you do? What is your advice? And it says, try to go within and think about what is really, truly important to you. It's saying um, you don't need to talk about this necessarily until you're clear, um, but have it be less about like work, job, money, stuff like that. Like have it be more emotional. I think that many of you are going to find like once all of your ducks are in a row, and for most of you, I think they are, is that maybe you're feeling kind of single, like you're feeling kind of alone within your relationship. And so if that's the case, you need to say something about it. A lot of you don't have the confidence to say, look, we're in this relationship and we're just going through the motions, but I, that's not working for me. I feel alone here. Um, and that's really hard. So, but they're like, it's super, super necessary if you want to save it because you're going to build up resentment over time if you don't. So they're saying, um, instead of focusing on, you know, what's wrong with a relationship, you could focus on what's right. So when they do occasionally make you feel really special, really appreciated, you just say, hey, thank you. I really needed that because I haven't entirely been feeling, um, you know, tremendously loved. Some of you are just like kind of with the wrong person. It's not that they're treating you fair. It's just that you wanted different things. You have different priorities, different long-term goals, which is kind of what I was talking about in the beginning where um, some of you are like faced with this issue where it's like, okay, well, you're kind of fun. I kind of like you. I like having sex with you, but you know, you're not really driven like I am. So are we in sync? Um, the challenge here is to understand like how important is tradition and this idea that you have in your mind about how relationships should look or how it should progress. And I think that's where we have to go within this month to really determine are we in the right relationship and um, what do I do with that answer. So um, love and light and I'll see you next month. Bye.